Welcome back to 2020 Visionaries. Now, we're meeting some amazing innovators. Each one has set out to change the world. Most of them have pretty big ideas, except for one who doesn't think big at all. She thinks small, really, really small. Julia Greer is an expert in nanotechnology, the study and application of extremely small things. She got her undergraduate degree at MIT, her master's and PhD from Stanford, and is currently a professor at the California Institute of Technology. Nanotechnology is a way to employ very, very small dimensions of materials. What we do is we architect them to form these beautiful lattices, we call them nano lattices, and then we effectively wrap a two-dimensional nano ribbon all around them. All of these nano lattices are about 99% air, but they retain all of their strength and all of their properties because we're using nanotechnology. For example, if you compare the Eiffel Tower to the Great Pyramid of Giza, you start to realize that engineering and architected structure can offer a lot of benefits. So the idea is that you use a very small amount of the actual material to create a structure that's very large because their density is very low, they're very, very lightweight. Imagine that all the materials you would use to construct the Golden Gate Bridge would fit in the palm of your hand. For centuries, we've been slaves to this coupling between the material properties and the density. And that's why all the materials that we know to be strong, for example, airplanes and bricks and concrete, they're also very heavy. But in the back of my mind, I've always had this idea, well, metals can be much, much lighter and they can still retain all the properties that metals have and just be much, much lighter. It would really fundamentally shift the way we think about materials. That's my vision for 2020. From nanotechnology to biotechnology, our next visionary is developing a way to treat cancer. He says it'll be more effective and less painful than current chemotherapy treatments. And he says it might even eliminate the need for chemotherapy altogether. Vijay Chudasama is a scientist and researcher at University College London. He works in the exciting area of antibody drug treatments, a field he believes will make a significant difference in the way doctors treat cancer by 2020. Antibodies are essentially vehicles which can selectively target certain cell types so that we can deliver really toxic compounds selectively to cancer cells which allows us to kill only cancer cells and none of your healthy tissues. At the moment if somebody's being treated by chemotherapy they essentially take in a cocktail of drugs, uh, toxic compounds essentially which kill both their healthy tissue and their cancer cells and this stuff is really painful when you have to have multiple cycles and so this is just a targeted treatment which is going to hopefully prevent all those problems, but also allow for higher dosages, which will allow for, for more effective cancer treatment. So it's fantastic because not only can you, uh, I guess, get rid of the side effects of chemotherapy or certainly reduce those because you're only selectively uh, delivering the drug to the cancer cell. It's more than that. Um, it's, it's really important to get this point across. If you're doing chemotherapy, you're limited in the drugs that you can use. You can only use certain drugs. For example, I couldn't give you a drug which was too toxic because that would kill you. But what we can do now is to selectively deliver these really, really potent toxic drugs to kill these aggressive cancer cells. So we're now, I guess, in a position where we can now not only kill cancer cells specifically, but we can kill cancer cells with our best weapons. That's my vision for 2020. Imagine if we could take carbon dioxide, a waste gas that is perhaps the leading cause of global warming, and turn it into something useful. Our next visionary has done just that, and it earned her a spot on MIT Technology Review's list of innovators under 35. Emily Cole is a scientist and the co-founder of a company called Liquid Light. She's come up with an innovative and inexpensive way to turn carbon dioxide into useful chemicals. Her method also reduces oil consumption because many of these chemicals are currently being made out of petroleum. We have created process technology to convert carbon dioxide to a wide range of chemicals and fuels, such as ethylene glycol, glycolic acid, acetic acid, and then those chemicals become the everyday products that we use in our lives. Plastic drinking bottles, carpet, even the antifreeze in our cars. We make that same product with lower carbon dioxide emissions. So, for instance, if you took one liquid light ethylene glycol plant, we could reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 300,000 tons of carbon dioxide a year. That's like taking 70,000 cars off the road. So you're basically stopping that carbon dioxide from being emitted into the atmosphere and you're using it to make something of value. That's my vision for 2020. 
saving energy, reducing consumption, advancing computer technology. These visionaries and so many others like them here at MIT and all over the world are hard at work trying to make our lives and our world a bit better. Thank you for joining us for 2020 Visionaries. I'm Lori Siegel.